projects. In this video, we are going to explain about multi-level data concealing technique using steganography and visual cryptography. Introduction The internet is regarded as a crucial medium for linking every area of the globe, allowing us to communicate with others in a matter of seconds. When conveying confidential messages, we must ensure that their entire confidentiality until they reach their target. As a result, protecting the secret messages becomes critical. Security is a major concern in today's digital connected world. Providing security for massive amount of data has become a major concern in recent years. Objective The project Multi-Level Data Concealing Technique Using Steganography and Visual Cryptography seeks to improve data transmission security. It employs random key generation, ZOR encryption, LSB steganography, and picture scrambling to conceal encrypted messages within images. The use of visual cryptography divides the image into two parts for increased security. The goal is to protect the confidentiality of secret messages sent between users. The project addresses the difficulty of safeguarding vast amount of data in the digital era by integrating cryptography and steganography. Its layered strategy protects against data exposure and threats, resulting in a strong solution for preserving data integrity and privacy. These are the requirements for execution of the project. Hardware requirements are Operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above are required. In software requirements, Python IDEL of 3.7 version is required. Coming to the algorithms used, these are the algorithms used. First one, for secret key generation, random number generation is used. Random gen number generation algorithm is used to create a secret key. The secret key plays a vital role in the encryption process and it is required to perform ZOR operations on the input message. Next one for ZOR operation, exclusive OR ZOR operation is used. ZOR operation is applied to the user's input message and the generated secret key. This ZOR operation serves as a part of encryption process which encrypts the input message. Third one is steganography. For this, least significant bit steganography algorithm is used. The encrypted message obtained from the ZOR operation is embedded or hidden within an image using LSB steganography technique. LSB steganography involves modifying the least significant bit of each pixel in the image to store the encrypted message. For image scrambling, image scrambling pixel shuffling is used. Image scrambling is performed to jumble the pixels of the image and introduce additional complexity for enhanced security. Next one, for visual cryptography encryption, visual cryptography scheme is used. Visual cryptography is used to split the image into two shares and both shares are sent to the receiver and the reverse operation are performed at receiver's end to decode the hidden image. Methodology these are the design modules for execution. First one is secret key generation. In this module, random numbers as secret key are generated. Next one, ZOR operation. In this module, we take input message from user and then performing ZOR operation on that message using secret key and after operation message will be encrypted. Third one is steganography. Using this module, encrypted message will embed or hide into image using least significant bit which is LSD. Fourth one is image scramble. Using this module, pixel of first row with last row are jumbled and this operation continues for all the rows. Next one, Visual Cryptography Encryption. In this module, images are split into two shares and both shares they will be sent to receiver and the receiver will perform reverse operations to decode message from image. Reverse operations can be merging share, unscramble image, extract image, uh, decrypt message or reverse ZOR operation to get original image. For execution, first open the code folder. This is the code folder and this is the test images file and these are the images which we will be using for predicting the model. And these two are the main code files and this is the run.bat file. Instead of executing the project in command line interface, we have created windows batch file execution. For this, double click on run.bat file for execution. This is the graphical user interface of the project. With this, we can interact with the program. So, 
here we need to enter a message in text field and click on generate secret key and apply zor operation button to generate secret key and then apply zor on message to encrypt the message so here i will type the message here i entered the message then secret key is generated by clicking on the button secret generate secret key and apply zor operation here these values are separated by comma now click on the button run steganography algorithm select the image click on open here the first image is the original image and the second image is seg image and now close these two images now click on run scrambling and visual cryptography encryption here images are scrambled and split it into two parts now close these two images click on the button upload share one and select the share one image and click on open now click on the button upload share to and select the share to image now click on the button run reverse operations here in text area we can see that blue color text we can see message extracted from image successfully and similarly we can upload other images and test them so close this gui conclusion the project multi level data concealing technique using steganography and visual cryptography proposes a comprehensive and practical method for improving data security during internet communication The project ensures the entire confidentiality and integrity of hidden messages by integrating random key generation, ZOR encryption and LSB steganography, image scrambling and visual cryptography. Steganography hides encrypted data within image whereas visual cryptography adds an extra degree of security by splitting the image into two parts. This layered approach deters potential attackers while also addressing the issues of data hacking and exposure. Finally the project delivers a strong and dependable solution for secure data transmission hence improving overall security in our digital world
Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.